Uh, there is a lot of talk today about college football playoff expansion. There was an article by Ross Dellinger at SI, and the headline is, The Rose Bowl Throws a Wrench in College Football's Playoff Expansion Plans. It says, tw- or two months before the 12-team expansion model is set for potential approval, the January 1st event could present a significant roadblock in the path to an agreement. So they're going through and discussing uh, all of the reasons, or not the reasons, but all of this talk from these anonymous sources that the Pac-12 is not going to move off of their January 1st date at 2 p.m. Pacific time. They're just not going to do it, which would mean that they would, the only way to get them involved is basically they host a quarterfinal game every year. They have no semifinal game. They have no national championship. They are just a quarterfinal spot, which seems absurd to me, but neither here nor there. Uh, And then on top of that, you have everything else around college football that is beginning to kind of discuss it, and not in a positive light, which I'm both surprised by and not. Uh, Dabo Sweeney asked about it today at ACC Media Days. You know, we talked last week or two weeks ago, whatever it was, Mac Brown said that North Carolina, the players, are not in favor of a 12-team playoff. Now, Dabo and the Clemson players are not in favor of a 12-team playoff. Uh, they think that that's just too many. It's too many games, et cetera. Now, I've said it multiple times on this show, like I am in favor of declining, or not declining, uh, uh, shortening the regular season and doing it that way, right? I've, I've got a bunch of different options for ways to do it where there's not so many games played, but Dabo was doing that. Greg Sankey told media members at SEC Media Days that, hey, if everything goes kaput, like we can always just stay at four. Like, okay, like what, what was all the press releases about? Like what the hell was all this about? And, uh, and then, of course, you've got a little bit more positive side from Brandon Marcello at 247 Sports. He reached out to all of the bowl executives that are involved in the New Year's Six. Three of them got back to him. And that was the Sugar Bowl, the Orange Bowl, and the Peach Bowl that all said, we are ready to tear up our contracts and get with this CFP expansion right now. We want to do it. Because I think all of them have had guys opt out for their bowl games, and it totally declined the level of interest in their game. They couldn't sell tickets. They couldn't get, you know, the viewership was blah. Uh, They all said, we want to be involved with this. If we can do it, the Rose Bowl is saying they're not going to move. And then the Cotton Bowl and the Fiesta Bowl are declining to comment. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, This seems like a shit show. Like, what what do you think about this? Because I am, it seems like this is pretty par for the course, right? They don't have all their ducks in a row. Nobody knows what they're really going to do. Well, so we'll we'll, we'll take these one by one because you just threw a lot out there. (laughs) Sorry. Told you it's a lot today. I. I would tell the Rose Bowl to stick it, and I would move the Rose Bowl. I wouldn't even give them the quarterfinal game. I, I tend to agree with you. I I just I just move on from them. Okay, congratulations, bye. And, and what happens if college football, the people that put on college football, say we're not, we're just okay, we're just we're just not going to have a Rose Bowl anymore. We just won't have a bowl in in the Rose Bowl anymore. We'll go to that new stadium in Allegiant, that that gigantic field in uh, Anaheim. Sorry. Not Allegiant Field. Uh, we'll, we'll go. We'll go put a bowl there, and we'll get a new sponsor, and we'll get a new everything, and we'll leave the Rose Bowl. Yeah, we'll, we'll do. Still we'll do be the in LA, Yeah, and we can tell you to blow it out your ass. That'd be the first thing I'd do. I would start taking control of my sport. This is what the people that run this thing need to do. All right. I I don't care what Dabo Sweeney says. Yes, that we. Yeah, of course he doesn't want to play an extra game. He's having a hard time getting there all the time, playing the easiest schedule out of every every championship team. Every team that has made the playoffs so far has played a harder schedule every year than Clemson. And Clemson is still, while they've won it more than anybody not named Bama, has still had problems always winning it. So... Of course, they don't want to play any extra games that might be hard because they tend to slip up and lose those games. Uh, So, so sure. I don't want your opinion. I don't care about your opinion. Okay. You don't get a say in this. You didn't want players to get paid. Now they're going to get paid. 
guess what? We're going to do a lot of things that are going to piss you off because you're stuck in your ways and you don't care about the game. You don't care about actually growing this sport at all. So you get to sit in the corner, and if your team is good enough, you get to continue to keep getting invited in. All right? So I tell him to blow it out his ass too. (laughs) All of these other – like the two that declined – I guarantee you the Cotton Bowl and uh, the the Fiesta Bowl. Yep. If the other two come in – and you get a new bowl to come in, though they would immediately want to do the same thing. If they held up progress, it would be real easy to say, okay, you continue to get a bowl game. That's what you're owed, a bowl game. Okay. Yeah, the contracts are still due until January 2026. Yeah, so we got five I, more years but, of this. But those contracts are for them to get a bowl game. You can have a bowl game. You're no longer a part of this playoff thing, though. Yeah, okay. Like, we're That's, just going to move the playoffs to different bowls, and and you get moved out of it if you don't want to play. By, but I guarantee you they will. They just don't want to talk about it right now. They don't want to – they understand probably that this is all a shit show. And why are they going to be willing to tell people they're going to tear their contracts up if if nobody has them another contract to, to sign? Agreed. Like, I, yep. I don't know that I think I would probably, as much as I want this, I would sit back and wait for new documentation before I commented on the old documentation. Yeah, you were okay. probably right about that. I mean, it's it's kind of nuts. Uh, these all these the are stuff all that's... things that I feel about all of this stuff. Um, it, it, the people running it, do they have their heads up their asses and know what they're doing? No, they're all morons. They're, they're all idiots. And, of course, this could go no other way, Gary. Yeah. It, could go no other way. These people that run this thing don't know what they're doing. We, Somebody you and I, has to take charge. Somebody yes. has to take control and start telling people, this is what we're doing. This so is why commissioners exist. You're saying a college football czar then. This, no, this like is a commissioner what of college football Emmert should be, by the way. This is what the head of the NCAA it, should but be. But they, they, they haven't have been. Lost, they, they should have never lost college football. Control of running it. Yeah, I mean that that happened, you know, basically in the '80s. We've talked about this multiple times this year about the uh, NCAA versus Board of Regents. It, that whole TV case. That's there that's how we be, got to this has point to in the first. Be place. another way for them to keep and maintain control over their product. Yeah, and it's not about it's not about making money off of it. It's not about profiting off of it. It's about controlling the product so you don't have your this guy over here thinking this and this guy over here thinking this and this guy over here thinking this and everybody's at odds and everybody has equal say in the room no no there's one captain driving the ship okay when i say we're gonna go left everybody's turning left damn it yeah that's a that's a college football question you can hop off the damn ship that's it it makes perfect sense that this is how this would go right this is how it it has always been and you and I were both kind of surprised when all the news and press releases and everything else came out just a month ago or however long it's been, where they were openly talking about, like, yeah, we are pushing for a 12-team playoff before they ever got the contract stuff figured out. But it, it, they normally don't go public with this stuff until it's done, which is why it led us to believe that it's done. And it is not. It's not even close. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.